She is known for her iconic role as Nova in the science fiction film classic Planet of the Apes and its sequel, Beneath the Planet of the Apes. She is recognized for her contributions as an actress, director, and producer in both television and film. Her name is Linda Harrison. In the world of science fiction films, one actress stands out for her iconic role and lasting impact. Linda Melson Harrison, an American actress, director, and producer, gained international fame for her portrayal of Nova in the timeless science fiction classic, Planet of the Apes, and its first sequel, Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Her striking performance as a mute primitive human captured the hearts of audiences worldwide. Born and raised in Berlin, Maryland, Linda Harrison's journey to stardom began with her appearance in the 1968 film, Planet of the Apes. Her portrayal of Nova, a human living in a world ruled by intelligent apes, showcased her talent and versatility as an actress. The film's success catapulted her into the spotlight and cemented her place in cinematic history. Harrison's career continued to flourish as she became a regular cast member of the NBC television series, Bracken's World, from 1969 to 1970. Her captivating presence on screen captivated audiences and solidified her status as a prominent actress of her time. In addition to her acting career, Harrison also ventured into directing and producing, showcasing her diverse talents and passion for the industry. Linda Harrison's impact and legacy in the world of film and television are undeniable. Her portrayal of Nova in Planet of the Apes remains an iconic performance cherished by fans to this day. Her contributions to the entertainment industry, both in front of and behind the camera, have left a lasting impression on future generations of actors and filmmakers. Linda Harrison's remarkable career serves as an inspiration for aspiring talents and a testament to the power of dedication and passion in the pursuit of dreams. Linda Harrison, born in Berlin, Maryland, grew up in a close-knit family. She was the third of five daughters of Isaac Burbage Harrison, a nurseryman, and Ida Virginia Melson, a beautician. With two older sisters, Kay and Gloria, and two younger sisters, Jane and Joan, Linda found herself in the middle of a lively household. The Harrisons had a long history in the Delmarva region, just like Linda's maternal Melson ancestors who immigrated to Maryland from North Yorkshire in the mid-17th century. From a young age, Linda showed a natural talent for performing. Her mother, Ida, recognized her daughter's potential and enrolled her in ballet and acrobatics classes when she was just five years old. Linda quickly took to the stage and began performing at the age of six. She attended Buckingham Elementary School in Berlin, where her mother and sisters had also studied. In 1956, at the age of 11, Linda's acrobatic skills earned her first prize in the Delmarva Chicken Festival Talent Contest. Six years later, she won the Miss Delmarva Beauty Contest at the same festival. Linda had dreams of becoming an actress and a star. Linda had a plan to pursue her acting career by entering and winning beauty contests. During her teenage years, she worked as a waitress at Phillips Crab House in Ocean City, Maryland, while dating the son of the restaurant's owners. In her spare time, Linda appeared as a narrator on local TV programs in Baltimore. She also took on her first dramatic role as Connie Fuller in a production of the play George Washington Slept Here at Stephen Decatur High School. In May 1962, Linda was crowned Miss Berlin at the Miss Berlin Beauty Pageant, and a month later, she represented her hometown at the Delmarva Chicken Festival Beauty Contest. After graduating from high school, Linda spent a summer term at the University of Maryland, College Park, but found it uninspiring. She also attended a secretarial school in Baltimore but realized that her true passion lay in acting. Following her older sister Kay, Linda moved to New York with $250 and their mother's credit card. In New York, Linda found some success as a model but longed for her Maryland home. Less than a year later, she returned home and continued her pursuit of an acting career. In 1964, Linda entered the Miss Delmarva beauty pageant as Miss Berlin and emerged as the winner. This victory paved the way for her entry into the Miss Maryland beauty pageant, a preliminary event for the Miss America pageant. Linda won the Miss Maryland contest and flew to California in June 1965 to compete in the Miss America pageant. Although she didn't win the crown, her striking good looks and hourglass figure caught the attention of Mike Metavoy, an agent at the General Artist Corporation. Metavoy saw Linda's potential and encouraged her to pursue a career in the film industry. Impressed by Linda's personality and appearance, 20th Century Fox offered her a 60-day option agreement. During this period, Linda studied with Fox acting coach, Pamela DeNova. In October 1965, before her option expired, Linda attended the premiere of The Agony and the Ecstasy as the date of studio attorney Harry E. Sokoloff. At the premiere, Linda had the opportunity to meet her idol, Charlton Heston, who would later become her co-star in Planet of the Apes. It was at this premiere that Linda also caught the attention of Richard D. Zanuck, Fox's vice president in charge of production. 
Zanuck and Linda began dating, and their relationship would soon have a significant impact on her acting career. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.